Well, in case you're wondering, yep, the audio was completely fucked up on my peach review. You know, I live in this tiny fucking apartment, the walls are fucking closing in on me, and I tried to do a fucking review by myself, and for some reason the damn audio did not record. Unfucking believable Well, you know, the All-Star game was originally going to be in Atlanta this year. And, uh, well, got moved. And the Braves, you know, they wear the 150th anniversary patch because they claim to date back all the way to the, uh, National Association Boston Red Stockings, which they do. So they are the oldest continually operating franchise, even though they've moved twice, changed their name numerous times before finally becoming the Braves. And you know what they're actually named after? The Braves? What? The Tammany Hall Braves, the most corrupt political organization in the history of mankind. Where is Tammany Hall? Uh, it's in New York. Huh. Ever see gangs in New York? Of course. You know that corrupt guy? Yeah. Last tweet? Uh huh. He ran Tammany Hall. Oh. It's a bad five points. Such a, yes, a different kind of star. Yes, it was. So, I decided to try a peach, even though the All Star game got moved to Colorado. Because, you know, peaches are synonymous with Atlanta. You know, the peach I reviewed yesterday kind of sucked. I gave it a 4.4 in honor of Hank Aaron. And the Braves, come on. How do you not have a Hank Aaron patch? The Brewers have one. You don't. I know it's on the back of your hat. That's not good enough. Put it on your damn arm. Put it on your heart. Put it on your, your chest. You, have, you need to make room for Hank Aaron. He's the greatest player to ever play for the Braves. And you don't have a patch? That's a joke. That is an absolute joke. We're just putting 44 39 on the back of the hat. Not good enough. Um, anyway, the peach I tried from ShopRite. You know, ShopRite fruit sucks. You know, ShopRite has good meats, but their fruit suck. And I could feel... <laughs> This, this peach feels better now. Granted, my the other peach I tried was in the fridge for two weeks, so maybe that did it. But I can actually feel like a little fuzz on this one, unlike the other one. And this one feels better in my hand. I gave that that peach the silent one, the silent but deadly fucking review, a 4.4. Let's see if this peach is a better peach or something that you just throw off and hide at the beach. This peach actually has taste. The other one had no taste. It was bland and dull. Maybe a little stale. This tastes fresh. Of course, I got it for whole uh, at Whole Foods. I think I had to take out a small loan to get it. But it's considerably better. Uh, yesterday I gave that peach, the silent peach, a 4.4. I'm gonna give this I'm gonna give this one a 7.4. In honor of the year, Hank Aaron broke the record. So that peach isn't the pits. Nope. The other one was. Shop right, get better fruits. 